What is up, my fire amigos? Welcome back to Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we made it all the way to Far Outpost, and we need to find this massive cannon that we're supposed to help have help us shoot us to the moon. But when I tried talking to the bob -ums, they just we're talking about their normal lives. Um, I'm gonna step into the store real quick. This is what I was talking about in chapter four when I was doing the recipes, where you could find the room powder and then the uh, shooting star and the maple syrup. But, uh, 30 coins for a shooting star, and the guy sold it for us to, what, 36? So, I mean, at least the guy was there. He could buy it any time. I didn't have to wait till Chapter 7. But right now, I'm just going to sell all my items that I don't really need. I really don't need any of these items right now. I'm keeping the life mushrooms. Um, I'm surprised you sell them for 20. I should buy them off you for 20 when they're sold for 50 in one store and 40 in another store. It's crazy. That's absolutely crazy to me. Anyway... In order to progress this chapter, we do need Bobbery out. He's the only guy we're gonna need to talk to the bob uh, I'm gonna grab this in coupon I didn't grab last time, and then we're gonna grab pound the star piece panel in here that I didn't grab last time. And then we need to talk to the mayor with the raccoon tail, this guy. Yes, what business do you have here? What? A cannon? No such thing is here. Now listen here, you're the mayor, hmm? How can an official like you lie that way? Oh boy, I know I saw a candle last time I was here. Do not lie, sir. Shush, you call yourself a Baba. I spit at you. You know the rules. There will be no mention of cannons to non Babas. No mention. We must not allow this to use, be used for evil. Of course I know all that, you great blowhard. But we must use that cannon to get to the moon, old boy. And if we don't, sir, the world could end. Hmm. Oh, world could end? Um, well, we cannot have that. Still, you cannot use the cannon right now because of certain circumstances. Circumstances, good sir? We must have permission from Goldbomb to use the cannon. He is the one who started this whole blasting things to faraway places, Paul. Once he got rich, he, he let his business slide and does not start it up again. Also, General White was the one who devoted himself to the operation of cannon. But he was so depressed by losing that job, he took the cannon key and ran off to some settlement far away. Hmm. Go Bob General White, eh? Yes, that's correct. If you want to use the cannon, you must find Gold Bob General White. Very well then. We can't give up now, old boy. Mario, let's search the search is on. Let's go find those two Bob Ops. Once you find them, come back to talk to me. Okay, so we know where both of them are! Gold Bob was with his family in Palshi Heights, and General White, the settlement he went to was Petalburg. The problem is, Gold Bob is easy, General White is hard. This is why I wanted to put this in two parts, not just go to Far Outpost and then do the cannon. So, I will meet you guys in Palshi Heights. Alright, here we are in Palshi Heights, and let's go ahead and talk to the Gold Bob family, or just Gold Bob himself. Good day to you, Gonzalez. What can I do for you today? Oh. What's that you say? You must use the cannon in the far office to save the world? Mm. Yes, sir. Hmm, well that is a rather pickle, isn't it? Very well then. I certainly owe you a favor to hmm? Yes, I should say. The truth is, I have hoped to resume my business with that cannon someday. And just between us, I only stopped because the wife says she didn't like the noise. <laughs> Sadly, it takes a hefty bit of coin to get the cannon working, so... I need you to demonstrate just how much you, you want to use that cannon. If for a matter of money, just how much would you pay? And I will just say everything I have, man. It's the end of the world. Oh. You're really? So, really? Yes. Well, I suppose I'm just surprised to hear you say that. Staggered, actually. You know that means you'd be left with zero coins, with absolutely nothing. You know that, do you? Yes. Hmm, I mean, think of it, man. You spent all your coins, and I mean all of them. You would certainly face a great deal of difficulty down the road. Yes, I do know that. But hold on, I want to make sure you're doing full, this full aware, fully aware of the consequences. Are you sure you won't regret this later? Absolutely sure? Absolutely. You won't say just kidding later on or any sort of top foolery like that? I can really take them all? Really? Yes, sir. Well, alright then. Here's all of my money. Hmm, well you certainly have shown some, me something, sir. So, I'll give you permission to activate the far outpost cannon. There we go, Gold Pops Pass. Oh, and I went on the series earlier, my dear fellow. How can I take your money? <laughs> it's a shame, I suppose, but I'll return your money. 
all 358 coins. Now soldier on, my boy. Yeah, you could have... Uh, please put fire up his cannon. Good use will save the world and whatnot. Sure thing. Yeah, he's rich. There's no need to give him, give him more coins than what he already has. <laughs> now, let's find General Way, shall we? Last place we saw him was... Right part. I just want to check this real quick, but it, it, it is a uh, Petalberg, but I want to check this real quick. Good old Ghost Goomba here said this is the Royal Park Tower. Plus, right, this rock town positively reeks of money. There's a very nice hotel here, too. One would be nice to stay in there sometime. Hi, ma'am. Welcome, sir. This is the Royal Posse Park Tower. Oh my god, if I actually stay in here, oh. Ugh. <laughs> nah, I don't need to stay, unfortunately. Or, fortunately. There's just no point. Now, let's make hate, make tracks for Petalberg, shall we? Alright, back in Petalberg, and I think his house, where he was spotted in a house to the left. Hmm, do you need to ask him first? Thanks to you, I'll be calm here again. Of course, peace and quiet is bad for business. Nobody gets in that shop anymore. The business is rough war placement. Hey, buy, buy some ice once in a while. I should help appreciate. Why is he talking about the shop? Ah! Anyway, his... He, <laughs> General White was spotted in this house here, but he's not here. Hmm. Oh, is that so? Hooktail is toast, huh? Well, I guess that's a good thing. Although, well, I've heard that Hooktail has had lots of dragon fingers. Huh. Well, there's your spoiler for Chapter 8 and the Pit of 100 Trials. This is the Peach Fanatic, man. Hey, keep your hands to yourself here. Basically, everything's one room is one-of-a-kind collectible. We got the Peach Mail over there from, uh... Color Splash, that's it. <laughs> that took a, you know, either Color Splash or Origami King. But anyway, now that we know that Bobbery's not here, we need to go back to Far Outpost house. Skip it till we get there. Alrighty, back at Far Outpost, and the thing we want to do right now is go ahead and talk to the mayor. Since we got Gold Boss permission, but we couldn't find General White. Yikes. Hello, good sir. Oh, you have permission to use the cannon. You must man you met with Goldbog. All per all remains of General White. Someone here in the outpost somebody spotted in Petalberg. You should head there next. Uh, yep. And honestly, guys, this is why that inner circle of war pipes is the best thing of convenience. Because it makes up for this part of the game. A lot. Now, I said earlier that he was spotted in Petalberg. Oh, come on, come on. Ah, skip. Okay, before it was really interrupted, but like I said, we went to go see him in Petalburg, but he wasn't there. But Subba did see him there. But what happens in this chapter is that the person who did see him there knows that he went somewhere else. And it's just a daisy chain until you reach Far Helpless again. So I'm going to skip it as best I can. Uh. I'll meet you guys back in Petalburg. Alright, back in Petalburg, and I honestly don't remember who to talk to. I think it's the gate guy? Nope, not him. Alright. Is it... No, I don't think it's you. Nope. Is it the mayor. Okay, it might be the mayor, actually. <laughs> now he's worried about himself. It might be the mayor, so we, we'll come back to the mayor in a second. I want to just check every other Koopa. It could be the guy at the entrance or the mayor. I know it's not you. Okay. Yeah, he's lost the dragon friends, we know. That's the kind of spoiler for Chapter 8. Hey, Mario, the thousand you door a lot lately. Okay. I'm not sure at first, but the game is awesome. I just beat it every chapter. Totally cool ending. I love this. So worth the money. I think, think there'll be a sequel. If not, I hope they make a Paper Luigi game. Yeah, that'd be awesome, too. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, is it you? Yeah, huh? What's that? General White? Oh, he was here before, but he said he was taking a trip, and then he left. 
Wait, hang on a sec. Did you say something about a desert isle in the south? Is you either going there or not going there? Well, Desert Eye on the South is key to us. We need to go to Keel Hall Key. I'll meet you guys at Keel Hall Key. Alrighty, here we are at Keel Hall Key. I think the guy we need to talk to is Papatch? Is it Patch? Yeah, it's Papatch. Jenner, what? Yeah, it was just until a second ago. And he took off right quick. He said he was going to see where it floats in the sky or something. <laughs> Again, these warp pipes are a thing of wonders. I mean, they are. If the because we had had to go to Glitzville after that area, we would have to climb out of the sewers from the warp pipe, go up to the blimp, take the blimp, go back to where we need to go in Glitzville, right back down the blimp, go to the next area. It's just it saves like eight minutes. It really does. This is probably the worst part of chap about chapter seven, but hey, it is what it is. Alright, the person we need to talk to is this guy right here. General White? Oh, you must mean the White Bobo. White Bobo, huh? Yeah, he used to come here all the time. But I haven't seen him lately. Now that I think about it, I think he hit off somewhere in a huge tree, or not. Great. Let's go to the Bogley Tree. Alright, at the tree, and also with the Bogley Tree, I don't remember who to talk to. Is it the guy at the front, or is it the Elder? I think it's the guy at the front. Let's talk to the guy at the front first. Welcome to the Great Tree! Eh? General Wright? Yeah, he's an older bobble with a great mustache. But I have no idea where he went. He said maybe he's going to somewhere dark? Alright, somewhere dark we go then! The only dark place we know of is, of course, Twilight Town. Let's go ahead and skip to Twilight Town, shall we? Alright, here in Twilight Town, and I have no idea who to talk to here either. It's been so long since I've played this game. Uh, I think it's this guy. No, no, it's not. The, it's not Gloomer. Oh, you, uh, you are, uh, you're Mario. Yeah, our hero. Woo! It's been awesome to say something about you, huh? That'd be sweet. It's not that guy. You to. Should... <sighs> <laughs> That's all hoping, anyways. Is it this guy? This is my new song, ahem. Love, that stupid bell, uh, and Puma as well. Twilight sure as well. Okay. You know, you can get through anything if you have good memories to cling to. But, problem is, none of the memories are good. Okay, if it's none of these guys, who the hell do I talk to? Because I believe in the game, it was the guy that was close to the, to the, uh, the end, no? Is it you? Well, if you see anything... Tell me, see anything suspicious? You know, like a shadow walking around in a bed in a sheet. Bed in a sheet. <laughs> Is it you? Huh? General White? Yeah, I know the old guy. He's the old white bobble, man. He was for here until recently. What? Where'd he go? What am I, a secretary? You just look tired. I kept mumbling about a cannon. Okay, so that guy was moved. Okay. Wait, why did I go in this pipe? Oh, no. The Twilight Town entrance pipe is closer to the far outpost, man. Oh. Well, you know what that means. Alrighty, we're back, Mayor. Uh, do you know where General White is by any chance? Hmm, you don't have the fog to see where General White may be? Oh, there he is! The mustache gentleman. Where has he gone to? This makes troubles for us. I like, I like that sprite on the on the on the mayor. So what what to do? Well, since uh, I don't know why I switched the buffer. Since we did just see him in here, let's go ahead and get in here. My brother in Christ, you were just asleep. Wake him up. Yes. Now you have to jump on. Ooh, he creased. You have to jump on ten times, so this is three. Four. Five. I was just gonna speed it up. And ten. Oh, come on. One more. 
snarf, snarf. Hey! Stretchy, stretchy, stretchy. Now, who are you? I am tired. I do not need your attention. I just want to see if all is... All is lost. What? That, that mustache. The hat. The hammering. Hut, hut! I've been looking everywhere for you! Of course you have! <laughs> Why? Well, to bring Big Bob back online. I had lost my life's works, my very reason to live. I found myself at wit's end, and then Roqueport's fortune teller told me. Seek the man with the M on his hat and the one with a hammer and stash. He will fulfill your dreams. Or something like that. What? You need to use the cannon to help you save the entire world? Hip hip hurrah! The fortune teller is right! What are we waiting for? I shall get Big Bob ready, so tell the bear. Now let's get moving, hut hut! And that old boy should be told us it was look everywhere for him. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what we did, Bobbery. But let's go and talk to the bear real quick. What? Jared Wright is back? Big Bob's grand revival cannot be far behind. I could just explode with delight! Now let's shoot you guys through the moon. Let's do it. Well done. We've done it, old boy. Now, now you, follow me. Hurry it now, this way, this way. Why didn't Mario just walk with him? Oh my god, okay. Anyway, let's go to the cannon, shall we? Now you stand here, okay? This is by far one of the best sequences in the game. Not even gonna cap, I mean... Uh, the sequence that was updated in Chapter 5 was better than this, but it's still a pretty good sequence. Just gotta let it play out. Let the frames drop! <laughs> Good luck, Mario. Whoa!
Ow. <laughs> you actually have to jump to get out of this. It's crazy. Whoa, that was awesome! Man, who knew Adventure got to do stuff like that? Whoa, we're really, truly no fooling on the moon? Let's rock out, Gonzalez. Let's find that last good star and save Princess Peach. That will be in the next episode where we explore the moon. And I will see you guys in the next one.